In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some tips on how you can come up with ideas for content for your affiliate marketing website. They're not actually my tips. These tips are from other WP Eagle viewers, just like you. I've been interviewing quite a few of you about your affiliate marketing websites, and you've all been sharing some really interesting stuff, some really good tips around how you create content for your website, how you come up with ideas, whether you write your own content, how you outsource it, loads of stuff. And in fact, there was so much material that I've chopped it all up into lots of different videos. And this is the first one of those videos. It's gonna be a complete series all around creating content and all featuring WP Eagle viewers. To make it easier to find these videos and to navigate them, I'm gonna put them all into a YouTube playlist. I'll put a link up to that playlist right now. You'll also find links to everything that's mentioned in this video in the description. I'm gonna try and upload one of these videos every few days. So to ensure that you don't miss out, make sure that you're subscribed by clicking on the button below and click that bell to be notified when I do upload and when I go live, which is every single Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. That really does help me out. Anyway, I think that's enough intro. Let's jump into the good stuff. So the question I'm asking in this video to my viewers is how do you come up with ideas for your content? Let's go. I stick to um, income schools, uh, basic method uh, that they've got in their videos. Uh, I use Google. Um, there's uh, a few few different things that I do. I use Google. I type things in that I think that I would search for. I type in uh, C terms uh, for uh, uh, my kind of uh, niche. Uh, so, I mean, my niche is, is uh, making videos uh, for uh, uh, YouTube, I suppose. Um, and so I'll type in iPhone and uh, EOS R, which is uh, the camera that I use. And it will uh, bring up lots of uh, um, potential keywords in there. But I also, uh, um, because Google doesn't give you um, the traffic and in fact nobody really gives you traffic figures but it's nice yeah. to be reassured so uh, keywords everywhere i pay there i think it's ten dollars and you get something like a hundred thousand yeah. uh, tokens yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. so i i don't I don't subscribe to their sort of, you know, full access. I just pay to uh, get the competition figure and the uh, uh, the traffic estimate uh, in a Google search. Uh, Keyword Surfer, that's free. Uh, uh, that's that does kind of the same thing. That's another Chrome plugin, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, the other thing that I do use is um, Uber Suggest from Neil Patel. Um, so. Um, that is quite handy. I, I find that it, it doesn't give you, it doesn't generate as many keywords in my kind of niche in sort of um, like, I don't know, uh, electric razor niche or, or that sort of stuff. You know, you get loads and loads of uh, uh, stuff coming out of uh, um, Uber Suggest, but um, that site's actually quite nice. Um, uh, you can get lots of uh, um, ideas from it. And also, um, it, it helps uh, in tracking your site. I mean, the figures are all wrong. I can tell you that. Uh, I've put in my own uh, website domain in there. And, you know, I'm, I, uh, this month or last month, or rather, um, uh, my uh, uh, traffic was something like 39. I can tell you a fact it wasn't. Uh, and yeah. that was for the month. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, but the, the, there is lots of information there uh, that is useful. You can also do a site audit. I mean, I found stuff that was wrong with my site, sort of broken links. Um, so uh, uh, that prompted me to fix that. So, so that was useful. Um, so uh, those are the things that I use. Just Google. Um, Keywords uh, everywhere. Uh, the I think ten dollar um, bucket yeah. load of just uh, get keywords. Credit. Just get credit. Yeah, you need get, it, yeah. get that. You don't need the monthly subscription. Then uh, uh, Keyword Surfer and Uber Suggest. Those are the uh, uh, three things that I use. And that gives and, you a big list of, of yeah, ideas, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I I, I did also um, before Christmas. Um, I bought something from I don't know whether I'm allowed to say their name, uh, but it's Human Proof Designs. Yeah, they you can, offer yeah. A, yeah. 
human oh. proof designs they uh, uh one of the things that they sell is they'll do your kgr research for you uh so i think it was 69 dollars um and it and it was a sale so it was even less it was like 49 something like that uh so you get about a thousand or 300 i forget but a lot of keywords yeah uh so um that they sent their list and i actually discovered that um I was better at doing uh, my KGR research myself than paying someone else to the, do the it. Professionals. Uh, you should try Carl's because, service. Though. I don't know if you yeah. tried Carl's service. He he delivered yeah, some fantastic I've, keywords for me. Yeah, I've looked at that, and uh, uh, that that's on my list of things that I will will be doing. But um, I mean, it, the doing your own KGR. Uh, research it's not that difficult go to uh, doug's uh, uh, site watch his videos he sh he shows you how to do it if you can divide two numbers then you can do kgr you okay. uh, analysis you should be okay how do you come up with ideas for your content and, and kind of how do you do your keyword research uh i usually do the uh alphabet soup on google Okay, yep, yeah, classic. Just uh, just typing yeah. in your, your niche or some idea, and then the letter A, B, C, and just seeing what suggestions Google yeah. throws up. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, really. And that but, gives you plenty to, to, yeah, to write about. Yeah, well, not for the gaming side, because everything is too competitive in that niche. So uh, yeah. I actually um, paused my gaming blog for like five, six months. And I started writing again, and I just um, I got some keywords from Carl from his service yeah. as well. So I'm going to be working on that. Yeah, that'll keep you busy. Um, how do you come up with your ideas for your content? The main one for me is using the the Google Auto Suggest. So I'll I'll do the classic who, when, what, why, yeah. can, do, are. And I'll relate it to my subject. So, so for example, can cocker spaniels, and then I'll put that into Google, and then I'll just go across the keyboard Q W, and I'll look to see what Google, um, what Google suggests, and I'll I'll think about what I think might be my useful, something that I can can write about, um, and then from that I'll then look at the all in title aspects of it. The, the search results, but I, I don't pay a great deal of attention to that. I'm more interested in, in the subject and whether I can write something about that. And But I'll also look at the the other um, boxes beneath the search, so when, when what people also look for, because I yeah. find that often those questions are relevant to my main subject heading. So I can use some of those questions as subheadings within the article yeah, yeah. So no, yeah, that's, that's that's a great idea. So what I'll try to do is I'll have my main title keyword, my main title phrase. Um, so one that I found recently that people actually do search for is how many teeth do Cocker Spaniels have? Okay. Now, I'm, I'm not sure why people would search for that, um, but that's quite a good phrase for me to write about so I can answer the question directly in the first yeah, paragraph. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to write 1,500 words about that, isn't it? But, but then I can also look at, at relevant subjects. So if somebody's looking to know how many teeth the dog has, then I can write about um, why it's important to look after your dog's teeth, yeah. what to do to help your dog to keep them clean, what types of chews you might be able to get that the dog yeah, yeah. can eat to keep the teeth clean, how you can use a toothbrush and doggy toothpaste to keep have a teeth. whole spaniel dental kind of article. Yeah, yeah. So I can so um I can break those down into into different subheadings and it takes the almost like the pain away from writing an article. So because I think if you look at it and think I've got to write maybe 1200 1300 words it can be a little bit overwhelming. Mm. But if you can break that article down into subheadings that are relevant to your main question or topic and then you can aim to write between 150 or 300 words under each subheading. It it makes it less painful. Yeah, yeah, it definitely, it certainly does. Yeah. Also, and it's also easier to to achieve, really. I can hear one of your dogs now. <laughs> 
so typically what I do is look for people's problems and then try and solve them. Um, and if I'm doing it with an affiliate hat on, um, I'll try and find solutions which involve buying a product or a service. That's my yeah. general approach. Um, and it can be done, done in any number of ways. Um, you can look on forums. You can actually do um, like a Google search for um, a travel forum, for example, and just look for the keywords, I need help. And you'll find all of a sudden 50 ideas on trying to help people. Um, but there's also things you can do as well in whichever keyword tool you're using. Um, I'm using SERPstat at the moment, which I recommend. Um, yeah. But there's tools like Hrefs. Um, but a lot of it's how you actually use it. Um, for example, when you're looking for keywords, don't just go in there and look for high volume um, or high numbers of um, cost per click values. If you actually go in and look for keywords such as who, where, why, what, when, those kind of keywords, once again you're finding problems or you're finding questions um, which can really help. Um, also looking for, the, there's there's things as well that people can't do. People tend to go on the internet to search for things because they've got a problem. So looking for problems like can't, can, uh, unable to, won't, you know, oh, why okay. can't my car start? Why won't my, you know, car radio turn on? Those kind of things. <laughs> um, and oh, by the way, here's a product to to solve to fix that, that problem. Yeah, yeah. Um, the the other things as well as negative intent, or also purchase intent. There's a whole list of keywords for versus review buy coupon. These all indicate that people are currently in that sales funnel and they're actively looking for products. Yeah. Oh, that, they're, they're looking for a solution sure. to a problem and that may be a product might it generally i go to um google um put in questions that i would particularly ask myself um yep. and see what sort of answers come up and then i would go and do uh keyword searches on um uber suggests yep, uh, that's, the one uh, Neil Patel. Yeah, that's yeah. the one yeah um to see what search volume I can find, um, to see if they've got good search volume um, for that particular keyword or keyword phrase. Okay, um, so you're looking does... for, for keywords that have got a bit of volume or... Yeah. So what if you had a load of keyword ideas or article ideas that didn't appear to have much volume? Would you bother creating content around them as well or not? Um, generally, I go for quite a few long tail keywords as well. Um, yeah. Even if they've got low search volume, uh, because they're easier to rank. Yeah, I guess that's always the trade-off, isn't it, between volume and the competition then around that particular term. But then if you look at the fact of, I don't know, say you find 10 or 20, 30 keywords that have only got a volume of, say, 50 search volume. Mm. The trick is, is the more, I find, the more content you put on the site of them particular keywords, if you add up all them search terms, uh, search volume, Eventually, you're going to get enough search volume through that because you're yeah, going yeah. to be ranking easier. You know, um, yeah, you'll have a lot that, of content it. out there ranking. So. Yeah, I often find that that yeah, it's easier to go for those low volume, low competition ones, um, but just create lots of different content around those. That you know, and as you say, it, it adds up. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you could have one search term that's getting um, a thousand a day, um, whatever, but that's really competitive. Yeah, um, and try and rank for that, or you could do ten articles that have all got a volume of around a hundred a day, and then it's the same amount, isn't it? But um, I generally put in uh, for Uber Suggest. I generally put in like my main keyword uh, for that particular site, be air mattress, um, and then I look at the search volume, and I also look at the difficulty score. Yeah, anything that's fifty or below, I will write content on it. You'll go for. And uh, yeah. what kind of success have you had with that? You, you had some good rankings. Uh, on this site, because this site is pretty new, um, it's only about five weeks, five or six weeks old. Okay, it's um, a bit early to it's say It's just then, yeah. starting. Some of the product reviews are getting picked up um, by Google um, f because they're not uh, product names, I suppose. Um, and I'm showing keyword search um, queries in my analytics uh, search okay. console. So it is getting picked up. It's starting, to, starting to move. That's good. Yeah. 
So that brings we changed uh, for five weeks. <laughs> no, no, that's pretty good. That's really quick. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. There were some great tips in there. Remember, you'll find everything that was spoken about, all the links and stuff, in the description of this video. As I said at the beginning of this video, I'm going to put all of these videos into a playlist to make it easier for you to find them. And you're going to want to make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the uploads. You can do that by clicking on my face, which has appeared up there. You might also want to check out my vlog channel. Just click on my other face. And here are a couple more videos. They've been chosen specially for you. Until next time, bye for now.